Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be cracking a very unique product. A product that has not been released or printed for quite a while now. We're going to be cracking Odyssey, an expert level expansion of Magic Gathering. And it's a tournament pack, which means that it's 75 additional cards, 3 rares, and a bunch of commons, commons and lands. So you can see it's still in a shrink wrap, so fresh off the shelf, even though the shelf was gone for many years. And let's just cr get cracking. Um, let's find the hole. Unfortunately, this is not a alpha or beta pack, which would have been, well, worth worth more than a year of college. But it's it's something. Got the wrap off. So, yeah, designed by Richard Garfield, Wizards of the Coast. Um, let's just see if we crack the. Good cards. <laughs> so our foil, or premium card as they used to call it, is a Patriarch Desire. Plus 2 minus 2 threshold. So it gets plus 4 minus 4, which is kind of not really as good nowadays, but those days it would have been considered quite a catch. Island, Swamp, you get your basic lands. Because th those days you would try and build sealed decks just from these tournament packs, not randomized boosters. You get a bunch of lands. And now let's go from the back, because the rares are in front. You also get two, two sheets of a rule sheet and some a little questionnaire, cute stuff. For example, Harry Potter TCG, the, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So let's start with our first one, a Leaf Dancer. Two to Forest Walk. Forest Walk means that it cannot be blocked unless, when, when an opponent controls a forest. You have Aether Burst. One blue, one colors. Return up to exile creatures to their owner's hands, where one X is one plus the number of Aether Burst cards in all graveyards as you play Aether Burst. Scorching Missile, standard 4 damage burn. Pilgrim of Justice, protection from red. Zombie Cannibal, standard 1-1. One, one. Muscle Burst. Escape Artist, an unblockable creature. Anarchist. This is actually something that I would play in some EDH decks. Pilgrim of Virtue. Shelter. Lantuko Disciple. Cephalid Looter. Standard Looting Ability. Thermal Blast. Fire Mana. Basically, Lava Axe. <laughs> Fright Crawler, Threshold, plus 2, plus 2, can't block. So 2 mana for 3, 3, that can't block is not bad. Haven Flock, Diligent Farmhand. It's basically an additional Muscle Burst. Haven Fisher, you may draw a card when it dies. Flame Burst, C4 Debris. Great, excellent mana fixing. Cross and Avenger. Syncopate, this is a classical card, re-released in the Return to Ravnica set. Habdir, 4 mana 3 1, Kirtar's Desire, Ravaged Highlands, great mana fixing, Croson Archer, Sacred Rites, Filthy Cur, Simplify, each player sacrifices enchantment. Great removal if there's only one enchantment on each of your opponent's board. Phantom Whelp. A Thrift, Destroy Target Lamb. Dedicated Martyr. We're into the Uncommons. Metamorphic Worm, Threshold. 5 mana for 7-7 seven, seven is amazing. It's an Elephant Worm. Pulsating Illusion. 5 mana for a potential madness enabler for 4 4 5. Engulfing Flames deals 1 damage. The target creature cannot be regenerated. 
Beloved Chaplain, Protection from Creatures, Childhood Horror, 4 mana for a potential 4-4 four, four flying that can't block, Sky Shooter, it has, it's 2 mana for 1-2 reach, destroy target attacking or blocking creature with flying, Standstill, that is an amazing card, played in Vintage, definitely to be kept aside, Demolish, Standard Artifact and Land Removal, Spear of Truth, just prevention of damage. Static, hip, sadistic hypnotist. Sacrifice creature. Tile play discards two cards from its hand. Only during sorceries. Now the last three cards are the rares. We could potentially get 30 US dollars out of this, but our odds might be minimal. So let's just hope for the best. Blood Curdler. Bidding of your upkeep, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Get plus one, plus one, and has at your turn, end of turn remove two cards from your graveyard at the end of end from the game. So exile a card from your graveyard. Two cards. So it does not get the ability to, for too long. I mean, two mana for a 2-2 two, two flying would have been considered good, but not anymore. Hint of Insanity. Target blade is, reveals its hand. Scarlet's... Discards all non end cards with the same name as another card in his hand. Um, not really good for EDH, but potential legacy play, I guess? Depends. And finally, Spellbane Centaur. 3 mana for 3 2. Technically, almost pro blue. So we kind of didn't re really hit much, but although Standstill and Anarchy are. Anarchists are my two personal favorite picks. Because it's 2 mana for draw 3 cards and 5 mana to get a sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, which is easily flickerable with with Data Navigator and you can release Time Warp and have an infinite turn cycle. I hope you enjoyed this pack of opening of Odyssey and see you soon.